I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. Before we get started with today's video, I want to quickly mention that Authentic Mental Health is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp provides affordable counselling right from your home. If you're looking to seek help or talk to a counsellor about your anxiety, depression or any other mental illness, I would personally recommend Better help. I use them myself on a daily basis for my anxiety and depression and if you want to get started the link is in the description box down below. I would highly recommend using them. Former Wales midfielder David Cottrell says more needs to be done to protect the mental health of footballers. David Cottrell won 24 international caps for Wales. He played at club level for various clubs such as Bristol City, Wigan Athletic, Sheffield United, Swansea City, Portsmouth, Barnsley, Doncaster Rovers and Birmingham City. David Cottrell recently told Sky Sports News Guys find it really difficult to talk about it. And although it is going in the right direction, I feel that there still needs to be a lot more help. David Cottrell carried on to say, In the football industry especially, I think many people are scared not to say anything because they don't want to jeopardise their place in the team. There needs to be a lot more help, especially at club level. David Cottrell opened up about his struggles with mental health and his struggles with depression in September 2018. We've heard from David Cottrell. Let's now take a look at other football players who have spoken publicly about their mental health struggles. Aaron Lennon. Aaron Lennon has 21 England caps to his name and has played for Leeds United, Tottenham Hotspur, Everton and is currently still playing in the Premier League with Burnley. Aaron Lennon was detained under the Mental Health Act after police became concerned for his welfare on a busy road in Salford. He received treatment in hospital for a stress-related disorder. Aaron Lennon said in an interview, I've suffered from depression and anxiety my entire adult life. It's hard to explain. There are days, even when things in your life are all going according to plan, when just getting out of bed feels like an enormous chore. So life gets tough. It can become nearly impossible to function. Danny, Rose. Danny Rose has 25 England international caps. He has spent the majority of his career playing for Tottenham Hotspur, where he still plays despite early on in his career going out on numerous loans. Danny was sidelined for over eight months last year with a serious knee injury, during which his uncle unfortunately committed suicide. Danny recently said in an interview, it's no secret that I've been going through a testing time at Tottenham Hotspur this season, which led me to seeing a psychologist. And I was diagnosed with depression, which nobody knows about, up until now, obviously. And I had to get away from Tottenham. Danny also mentioned he took medication during this difficult and hard period in his life. Other football players who have openly admitted or spoke about mental health problems are Clark Carlisle. Clark Carlisle has suffered pretty badly from depression and has openly spoke about this on numerous occasions. Clark has also tried to commit suicide numerous times. Angel Di Maria. Angel Di Maria talked recently about seeing a psychologist and how it has helped him. Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy posted an image on his Instagram saying you should never be embarrassed about how you feel. 
This goes to show it doesn't matter what part of the world you live in. It doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have. It doesn't matter if you are famous or not famous. Anyone at any time or place in the world can suffer from a mental illness. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comments section down below because this video was based on football players. I want to know what football team you support. You can also see in the comments section down below what football team I support myself. If you've enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Authentic Mental Health for more mental health content like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.